Hi, this is Becky from Recovering from Mental Illness, and today I'm going to talk about the closure of treatment facilities. Recently, I learned that a facility I was horribly mistreated at has closed, and it made me remember an interview I did with some people from the National Alliance on Mental Illness about the closure of another treatment facility. And the woman said, people are dying because of this. And it made me think, is mistreatment better than no treatment at all? And it's a very valid question. I have noticed that ever since the second treatment facility, the one I was not treated at, has closed. The city's low-income housing has been flooded with former patients. The success stories still have apartments. Everybody else is either in jail, in the morgue, or in another institution, mostly jail or the morgue. And the closure of treatment facilities must be done very, very carefully. We've got to find a place for the patients to go. And we definitely need a plan of action for each patient that's going to be affected by the closure of a treatment facility. Because some treatment is better than no treatment at all. And... It's not worth anybody's life. It really isn't. It's not worth people losing their livelihood. It's not worth people ending up on the streets, in the morgue, or in jail. It's not worth it. And whenever we close a treatment facility, money should not be the reason why. It should be done very, very carefully. Abuse should be a reason to close a facility or, at the very least, start over again with a new staff, maybe even a new building. That's all I really have to say on the subject. A treatment facility closure is always a tragedy because maybe some treatment is better than none at all because people need who need treatment are going to end up being treated whether it's in jail or they're going to die and that's all i have to say on the subject have a good day